Hey everybody, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Once again, back with our Galaxy Note 2 AT&T version, and we're going to take a look at a new KitKat ROM. So you're probably all very familiar with the Slim ROMs the Slim series of ROMs. Uh, Slim Beam was a very, very popular ROM. I kept it on my uh, Nexus 7 for a long time and really enjoyed it. Well, Slim is back again, this time with the KitKat version. And even though it's still in beta, this is the Slim Cat ROM. As always, first things first, we gotta give big thanks to PR Bass Player who brought this to our device, so big thanks to him and the entire Slim team. The link provided down below will take you over to XDA where you can get this ROM as well as hit that thanks button for sure, definitely, and uh, possibly hit him up with a donation. Slim ROMs are very prolific, you could say. They are on a lot of devices, so these guys obviously are working really, really hard. Now this is still a beta, so everything works fine, it just doesn't have all the features that you would maybe find in some of the other ones. The main one that I found is that it's not rooted. So if you want root access, you're going to have to do that. Now you only get the two launchers right out of the gate, the regular KitKat launcher and the Nova, um, the LG one is one that I put in. And this KitKat launcher we're all very familiar with. You swipe to the left, swipe to the right, card comes to the left, <laughs> and it's the Google Now, and just quick access to that. Now, everything has been working fine, like I said. Um, data connected, no problem. Phone calls, no problem. Battery life has been good. Like I said, the only issue is that it's not rooted. There are some things like there's no extended power menu. When you hit reboot, it's just going to reboot. It's not going to give you the reboot options, uh, go into recovery or download mode, things like that. But if you check out the frequently asked questions on the thread, he tells you in there how to get the extended power menu, at least how to get into recovery. And there's a lot of good information in those FAQs, guys. I recommend you checking them out. You can swipe back and forth, so that's cool. But uh, guys, the main features of this ROM here are some of the customization options you have. You've got the real dark slim you can toggle to where it'll make everything black, and that's what I'm running right now. I like that look. I like the clean black. Customization options in the interface, navigation, and then you have the slim center which is an area that is all about slim ROMs. You can get a bunch of information on the slim ROMs. You can um, contact them, check for an update. Mine's currently up to date. Then they have a bunch of APKs you can get as well. So there you go guys, real quick overview of the slim ROM. All in all, it's an excellent start to the Slim Cat series. Looking forward to what they come out with in future updates. I'm sure it won't take long at all. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. I'll see you next time.